Hello, this is Jason. I'm going to show you Cauliflower's privacy controls for scheduled calls. A lot of our competitors have just one level of security for your calls. We've got three. Open, closed, and what we call lockdown. It's very different than anything else out there, but it's really easy to use. You're going to find it very useful, especially if you're using Cauliflower to have public teleseminars, but then also ultra-exclusive private meetings. You need different levels of security for your calls. Let me show you. Let's start off by showing you how to schedule a public meeting first with the lowest level of privacy. So in this scenario, let's let's say I'm a business coach and I'm planning a seminar for, you know, hopefully 50 people. I want a lot of people hearing my message about how to get over shyness. So um, I'm going to go up here to schedule a meeting. You know this part here. I'm going to click on that. and I get the dialog box for setting up a call. You know this. Uh, I invite my attendees, so I'm going to attend. I'm going to get, who am I going to get here? I'll get uh, Sam and uh, Stan and Sampath and Sunir. <laughs> uh, none of these people are shy, of course, but, uh, but they're going to come to my seminar getting over shyness. By the way, for public calls, you really should put in a descriptive, evocative title. Uh, you'll see why in a sec. I, uh, I've created an agenda here, and I just pasted it in for the ease of uh, making this quicker. So we're going to schedule it for tomorrow at 10 a.m. And uh, so that's the same as any other meeting. Now down here, you'll see three levels of access security, open, closed, and locked down. This is the level of secured privacy on the call. Since it's a public call, I'm going to select open right here. This means that everyone will get the same pin code for access. It's very open, very simple to share. My callers will wait in a waiting room until I join. When they connect, I'll only see their caller ID and not their profile data in the attendees box, which is a feature of some of these other calls. And down here are some other options. Um, I could hide the attendees from each other if this is say an encounter group where people want to be anonymous but I want people to see each other on the web interface uh, this is a, a seminar about getting over shyness after all so I'm not going to select this button and this coaching session is also a bit of an inspirational talk so I'm going to record it and post it later on my website so I'm going to select record auto record right there and uh, since I don't want a lot of noise in the call when people are listening in, I'm going to choose auto-mute participants. They can hear me, but noise from their phone doesn't pollute the call. I can always unmute them once the call starts. Now, coolest of all, this is a public call, and I want this to be uh, you know, a very popular call that's got a lot of uh, attendees. So I'm going to select this option right here, public call. Cauliflower will now tweet the title of this call on its own Twitter feed, on the Cauliflower Twitter feed, on my Twitter feed, if I put that into my profile, and it will post it on the public calls directory on the Cauliflower website. So that's why you want to give it a good title. So the so Cauliflower will help me get the word out, but I mean, you, you don't want it to just be the title to be meeting because then, you know, obviously no one's going to attend that. If you want to get more attendees, give it an evocative title so people know what it is, and then they can go to a register uh, page uh, and register for your call. Of course, if I wanted to buy a toll-free number, I could put that there. Uh, if I want to record a uh, custom message like welcome to getting over shyness, I would uh, I would upload something here. So I think that's it. That's uh, that's gonna I'm gonna click create meeting and uh, Cauliflower is gonna send out the invites to my callers and remind them 50 minutes before the call. So it's fantastically easy. Now let's do a different kind of call. 
let's pretend that instead of a coach, I'm a small business owner, and I want to have a private discussion with my team about our plan for the next quarter. Uh, we run a bike shop together. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule a meeting, just like we did before, and I'm going to add in uh, Fatima, and I'm going to add in Gnome. As you might recognize, these are people that actually work here at IOTUM, but we're going to pretend that we're running a bike shop. So I'm going to call my meeting next quarter plan, and I'm going to paste in a, a, a little agenda that I pre-prepared. We'll schedule it for next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Now let's look at the uh, three levels of security again. I want privacy on this call and it's just for the folks I've invited. So I'm going to select closed right here. This means that everyone will get sent a different PIN code for access. This code only exists for this call and cannot be reused. Now when my attendees connect to the meeting, I will see their profile data in the attendees box. Um, so that, that'll be a little bit different than the open call. So I want an entry chime, so I selected that. I'm going to record it because I'm going to uh, uh, have it transcribed, la transcribed later. Um, so I click create a meeting and what what you'll see up at the top here is it says that your conference info has been saved and two new invitations are being sent. So Cauliflower will send out the invites to the meeting and then they'll warn people that the meeting's about to start like 15 minutes before the call. So that's very convenient. All right, last type of call. And I think the coolest one of all, no one else has this particular feature. This, this time, this scenario, let's say that I'm a politician and I need to have a secret lockdown call with my advisors about how our previous calls with another provider were eavesdropped by another political faction. So let's schedule the meeting. This time, I'm going to, let's see, who should I get this time? Well, Gnome is going to be my political advisor and just for fun, Fatima will again as well. And uh, we'll call this call um, eavesdropping call, as in how did they eavesdrop last time. And I've got a little agenda, which I'm going to paste, paste in. Uh, and I'm going to schedule this for later on this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Um, so this time I'm going to invite my callers and I'm going to choose lockdown for my access options down here in security options. This closes off the call further and puts an actual two layer in place. So I know exactly who's coming in on the call. Uh, invitees are going to get both a conference code as well as personal PIN codes, which are only used on this call. Um, I can think of a lot of people who really want to use this. I'm going to take auto record off and I'm going to make sure that entry chime is on. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and click the meeting, create the meeting. And there we go. You see up at the top here, my conference info has been saved and two new invitations are being sent. And, uh, and there it is. So Cauliflower lets you schedule a meeting that's public. It lets you schedule a meeting that's private. And then it lets you schedule a very secure, simple lockdown meeting so that you can be assured of, of the ultimate level of privacy.